Hi guys, Hyperlad over here, the Norwegian gamer. And this is some squad death match from uh, Bad Company 2 where we actually lose. But I um I did fairly well for myself and uh I thought I'll post it anyways. Uh, what I wanted to do is uh respond to a video uh from Woody, uh Woody's gamer tag where he reviews Homefront. Uh, uh that's the um uh, that's the version that they showed of at PAX where he had uh, 15 minutes to uh, 20 minutes uh, with playtime and he said some some things about it. look at me cleaning up this second story oh yeah uh, <laughs> uh, where he had some time with it and he really didn't dig it um, one of his um, complaints was the uh, really low time for the weapons or at least what he said was a really low animation um, and just because it doesn't reload as fast as Call of Duty, I don't think that's reason enough to kind of bash it like he did. He's like, oh, this, it, it, to me, it sounded like he was saying that that was something that would ruin the game. And Bad Company 2 has actually quite long reload times, and Killzone 2 had extremely long reload times. And those games worked. I mean, Killzone 2 didn't have the biggest following, but that wasn't because of the long reload times, that was for completely different reasons. But still, just because a game has long reload times when you reload your gun, <clears throat> doesn't mean that it's bad, it just means that you have to change your games, your play style to the kind of gameplay that that game actually uh, makes you play. Uh, he also talks a little, little bit about the graphics and he says the home front has the graphics of Call of Duty 2 and he then manages to say that Crisis 2 and Battlefield 3 doesn't look that much better than say Black Ops and I'm just like uh, speechless because I actually respect Woody a lot I mean he's one of the older gamers he has he's putting out a lot of great content and I'm not saying that I, I, I just I kind of lost some of my respect for him when he says that those games doesn't look that much better than Black Ops. I mean, Black Ops looks terrible, even on P on the PC. I mean, I have my beautiful gaming rig, and the game doesn't look that good. I mean, even BC2 might almost look better. And this, of course, is on the PC because consoles are just falling behind. I mean, the consoles can't even compare to the PC, and it's starting to show, and it's going to be more prominent in the, in the future. I'll, I'll do a video on that on, uh, at a later point. Uh, but still, he says that if you've seen the comparisons, uh, um, if, if you've seen anything from uh, Crisis and how good that game looks, I mean, Black Ops doesn't come near it at all. I mean, seriously, it's horrible. And... Granted, Battlefield 3, we haven't seen any kind of close-up footage yet. We have these um, trailers that are being released with uh, gameplay, f uh, with in-game footage. And it looks awesome. I mean, it, it's so much better than what we've got in in, uh, in, Col in Black Ops. And I mean, Black Ops looks horrible. I would actually go as far to say that Modern Warfare 2 looks better than... Black Ops does because Black Ops just looks horrible and the characters, the character models, they look like they look like wax figures. It looks like they belong in Madame Tussauds. I mean seriously, it looks horrible. That game engine is horrible. I mean it's a heavily modified version of the uh, engine that was used in Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare and Treyarch have been used it for World World of War, modified of course, and now they've used it once again, even more heavily modified, and it just looks horrible. I the game engine just looks terrible, and it runs terrible too on two out of the three major platforms. So, uh, yeah, that's just some of my thoughts on on the graphics. And he Woody says that he doesn't believe that game uh, the home front to be any good he claims that the um, the the industry is giving it all lines and it's one of the best games to come out lately and frankly I believe it will be um, 
And I know that a lot of Call of Duty commentators hold Black Ops in this high pedestal of what kind of, kind of great game it is. And I'm guessing that it is. But it's a great game in the same way that Counter-Strike is, uh, is a great game. I mean, yes, it's well balanced and it works really well. But for for some players it's not what they what they signed up for and especially Call of Duty has this kind of arcade style feel over it I don't think a black ops kind of, black ops kind of kind of lost that in my opinion and it's not a, it's not as fun as Call of Duty War before and it has me really on defense whether or not I'm buying a Modern Warfare 3 but, you know, that game is developed by a totally different studio, and it might be actually quite fun to play. Uh, and the reaction I have every time I go back to Modern Warfare is, wow, this game was fun. This is what fun's like, not what Black Ops is. Um, so, yeah, you know, that's just some of my thoughts. Um, I'm soon going to get killed here, and then we're actually going to lose this match. So, as you might uh, guess, the uh, video is coming to an end. And... Just to sum it up, I mean, I'm looking forward to Homefront. It might get really cool. It might be a nice cross between Call of Duty and Battlefield kind of gameplay. Um, let's see how it does. I don't think it's going to be horrible. Uh, as Woody obviously seems, it seems to think it will be. I will say that I've lost some respect for him, but far from all. And I'll continue to sub to him, but, you know... It just seems very narrow-minded at, at the moment. So, that's all for now. I hope to see you next time. Snackers.